beaches and all sorts of things. Urchins, I can see urchins. skates. This is Raja and it's a common skate. This one's a female. You can tell by looking at the bottom side here. A male will have two longer claspers. Okay. And right now as far as a model goes, we've had skates that we keep in our thing on light cycles and they've been laying eggs all winter. Um, a lot of people doing work with embryology, cell development uh, are going through these skate eggs that we have. And in the tank room, I'll show you when we go through that we've got hundreds of them now of all different stages of development, which uh, most of the courses this summer are going to use. So, this is a female, a little guy here. So she's got destined to die? Nope. We're going to let this one go. Oh. She's uh, deserves her freedom. What is it called again? A skate. Oh. It's because she's so young? No, it's just she deserves her freedom. We, we have enough in stock. We don't need to bring any more back. And they kind of have the spines. Same thing, when we go for squid and we get these in the net, if you feel them, they got little spines oh, in the they back. Do. Very, very damaging to the squid. So if you get a net full oh, of yeah. these in with the squid, it, it's not good. She's just having the shock of her life. Yeah. Anyways, it's, everyone seen her? I'm going to let her go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let them all go. Let them live. <laughs> now, here's a neat little crab. And I can't remember exactly what species this is. I think this is one that lives immensely in with the uh, tubes of a worm called um, wow. Eutopterus. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. If anyone wants to take him, you can pass him around. He's a... Oh, no. Oh, my God. I like we're all cooing over this crab. <laughs> And it's a lot of Can we call this a sponge or not? No, it's an ascidian. Oh, they yeah. actually, uh, a common name is sand sponge. Oh, interesting. But it's it actually feels a like sand. Of little, uh, little zoids that live in the structure. The remarkable thing about it is all the ascidians in the tuna kits are sea squirts. Even though they look very, very primitive, they're more advanced and actually classified with the chordates because during their life cycle, as part of the larval stage, they have a notochord. As they develop, and metamorphosize, that nodal cord will dissolve and disappear, but the fact that they do have a nodal cord for part of the life cycle puts them much higher up in the animal kingdom than all these. So this here is much more advanced than crabs, sea urchins, starfish, or any of that other stuff that you see down here. 